The Drug Discovery Lab at UC San Diego is housed in the Pharmaceutical Sciences Building. So the door that we've just passed brings you into an entire area which is biosafety level two. Lab director James McCaro reaches into one of the lab's incubators and takes out a flask of gold-colored liquid. You wouldn't want to take a sip. They're grown in these sterile plastic flasks. It's filled with a parasite. This is the organism that causes amebiasis, which is uh, one of the leading causes of diarrheal disease worldwide. Or how about this container? Inside the liquid contains a whole bunch of nutrients, basically food for the parasite. Swimming inside of it is a different parasite that causes Chagas disease. That's one of the leading causes of heart failure in South America. You get it from being bitten by what's called a kissing bug. You can see this parasite in action by looking into a microscope. It's literally invading the host cell and replicating. So what happens to you is if you get infected with this parasite, they will invade your heart muscle cells, and over a period of about 10 years, they'll destroy them. The lab also has a special room for a parasite that currently infects 240 million people. The reason there's a door here, if you go in, it's, it's temperature controlled. So it's, it's like the tropics. This closet-sized room has a number of tanks filled with freshwater snails. These snails are found in water sources throughout the tropical world. They produce parasitic larvae. They find you by swimming through the water, following your body heat, and then they penetrate right through your skin. In about six weeks, these larvae grow into worms that infect the body with schistosomiasis. The disease causes anemia in children and chronic ill health in adults. All told, McCarroll's lab has 10 parasites that cause widespread suffering and death. But because the victims are primarily in poor countries, drug companies aren't interested in developing new treatments. That's where this lab comes in. Like here's an example. It's well equipped to handle the process of identifying potential drugs. So it'll take the drugs out of this plate. The lab has robots that screen parasites against hundreds of chemical compounds at a time. The goal is to find a compound that kills the parasites. Once the machines identify a hit, the compound goes through a series of other steps in the lab. So we can actually take the hits from these robots, and if they look promising enough, we can put them into an animal model of infection and ask, do they actually cure the disease? Because that's what you really want to know. It's all part of the process that takes place before a drug can go into clinical trials. Infectious disease specialist Sanjay Mehta says the lab is doing important work. The current drugs um, are somewhat effective depending on the disease and, and oftentimes very toxic, particularly for things like uh, sleeping sickness. That Sometimes the treatment can be more toxic than the actual disease uh, and, and people used to die of the treatment. So we clearly need better treatments for a lot of the diseases. Postdoctoral fellow Laura Isabel McCall works in McCarroll's lab. She's studying the parasites that cause Chagas disease and sleeping sickness. McCall says finding one drug that made it all the way to the clinic would be a dream come true. But she says she wouldn't stop there. I'd probably keep on trying to find better ones, but it would be an achievement. So now, just like everything else, you can do this robotically. James McCarrow says his lab has identified two drugs that are ready to move into clinical trials. Kenny Goldberg, KPBS News.